Want to make an afghan one block at a time? Join me and we can make one together. Thank you for joining me on the journey to make an afghan together block by block. This video series takes 16 different afghan squares three of each of the same square, but each square of, that, of those three are a different shade of gray. You can pick your own colors, but I have the links to the three grays that I use down below. In the end, I will show you how to join the squares and finish off your afghan. In just a few short weeks, we will have a completed afghan. I want to make sure I give credit. Uh, the blocks are all a modification and a different version of patterns that I got from this uh, pattern that I had since 1997. So I don't believe it's in print anymore, but I wanted to make sure credit was given uh, to the original designer. This square is known as Little Crowns. And so I have my uh, yarn, start with a, a slip knot. I put it over my finger and thumb and draw up the yarn. And I have my size J crochet hook. And we are going to start this time with 30 chains. Okay, make sure your chains are nice and loose and as practice, always count before you start your first row. Okay, now we are going to double crochet um, in the fourth chain from the hook. So the fourth chain is you count it one, two, three, and four. So in the fourth chain you're going to double crochet and a double crochet you put over your hook first. Then you stick it into your chain, draw back your yarn, draw back through two loops, and draw through two loops again. So now you're left with your one that's on the hook and we're going to do another double crochet in the next chain. So now we get to make our little crown. So now you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and in the first chain, the third one from the hook, you're going to put a single crochet. That part right there is the little crown and we're going to skip the next two chains. So we're skipping this one and skipping that one and we are going to put a double crochet in the next three. So here's one, two, and three. And now you're going to repeat and do another crown. So chain three, one, two, three. In the beginning chain, the third one from the hook, do a single crochet skip two chains and do three double crochets. Chain three, single crochet in the first one, skip the next two chains and three double crochets. So let's lay it down and show you what we have. At this point you need to have five crowns. One, two, three, four, five. And we have the three double crochets in between each one. So it looks like you're set to go to the next row. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Turn our project and we're going to count that as a double crochet from here on. And we're going to double crochet in the next two double crochets down below. You're going to make another crown. One, two, three. Single crochet in the bottom, single crochet in that first chain. We're going to skip over the, the crown down below and we are going to put three double crochets in the double crochets below. So one, two, and three. So you're going to continue this pattern until you have almost a square. And so at the end of the row, you're going to chain three, do your two double crochets, and make your crowns all the way back. 
So at the end of each row, you need to double check that you have five crowns and you have three double crochets in between. So continue that till you have a square. Finishing up the last row, because it looks like we're getting close to it being a square. So I'm chaining my three, single crochet, and double crochet in the last three stitches, and then we'll measure it. And we're roughly seven and a half by seven and a half. That looks good. On this one, we've repeated the pattern, but we need to do one last row to get this edge to be nice and smooth so that you can do your edging. So to finish the last row, we need to chain three. One, two, three. We need to turn the project, and so basically we're just making a smooth edge. So we're going to double crochet in the next two. Then we're going to chain two to go over that gap of your little crown. We're going to double crochet in the next three. Continue all the way across the row and then we'll be ready to do your edging. And finish with a double crochet in your turning chain. And now we are ready to do your edging. To add a border on your squares with the same color, we are going to do one border of single crochets and then we are going to switch to the color that you have chose to be your uh, joining color. And in my case, my joining color is the light gray. So your first row around is the color of your square. Then we're going to finish it off and we're going to go join in with the color that you chose as your other, your main color, I should say. So I have just completed the last stitch on this square. All squares are going to be a little bit different, but the process is the same. So on the, you finish your last stitch, you're going to chain one. In that last corner there, you're going to put three single crochets. Now we are going down the end of your rows and we need to have 25 single crochets between this corner and the next corner. So you just space them out evenly and each time I can promise you I've ripped them out uh, probably 50% of the time because um, each one is just a little different. So I'm just going to show you my process. So that's our corner and now you just start doing single crochets and count as you go. So there's there's one, two, I'm going to do, put another one in that hole. There's three, four, five, I'm going to put another one in that hole. So that's six, seven, eight, nine in the same hole, ten, and eleven. 12. On 12 to 13-ish, you should be close to halfway, and it looks like we're pretty close. So that was 12, 13, 24 in the same hole, and in this last hole we'll go number 25. Now we're up to the corner, and in that corner you're going to put three single crochets. One, oh, there we go, two, and three. So now we have turned and we're going to go down this side. The beginning tail, I have wove it through this edge of the uh, square, so it will now get caught into our single crochet. So we've done three, and now we do the same process, 25 on this side. Okay, this is number 25 on my last side. So we have the each of the sides now have single crochets and at this point you just join with a slip stitch in that first single crochet that you started with. So just stick there you go. I got it through both of the pieces of that uh, single crochet and a slip stitch is you just pull it through and pull it through. I'm going to cut my thread and then just pull through your string. And now I, at this point, so that I can catch that tail in my stitching, I feed it through that last edge. 
now take the, your main color, which in, um, is my light color, and we are going to join it in the corner. Pick any of the corners, but just pick the middle of the three stitches. So here's one, two, three. So in the center one, insert your hook and draw up your yarn. Chain one. And in that same stitch, you're going to put three single crochets. Now we go on each side, but instead of 25 in between, we need to have 27. And this time it's a little bit easier because you are following the stitches from down below, but there have been many times because crafting is not perfect. There has been many times that I'll get to the end and I only have 26. So I'll back it off a little bit and I'll add one here to make sure I have 27. It's very important to have 27 on each side. Each square needs to be blocked and so I am using a June Taylor cushioned uh, square blocker so but there's a lot of mats out there I have the link uh, for this one down below but you need to pin it onto a mat eight inches square so each square needs to be pinned eight inches and um, I have been putting my pins every inch along each of the sides and after we get that done, then we can steam it to get it into shape. So I start by putting a pin in each corner at the 8 inch mark and pin on each side. And then just add a pin all the way around. Okay, I'm just going to use um, my personal iron set on the steam setting. Steam each one of them for a minute. So I have a, my board, I have three of them on here. So I'm going to steam each one for a minute, come back and hit them for about another 20 seconds. And then when they cool down, I can remove the pins. Once they have cooled down and are uh, dry, just pull off your pins and uh, your square is blocked and ready to attach to make your afghan. You may want to join your blocks as you go, and I have a diagram um, on the blog, DIYOnTheHouse.com, uh, that you can print out. You can put them together in whatever order you want, because I did not want any of the same colors beside each other. So however you choose to put them together, to join them, you'll need a large eye uh, yarn needle. And I am going to join them with the light color, the same color as the second row of the edging on each of your squares. So just cut a piece, oh, roughly a yard long, and we will join it with this thread. And the reason we counted so uh, carefully to make sure there were 27 stitches on each side, this that'll make this process really easy. So to start the joining, Thread up a couple, uh, maybe an inch and a half, to hide your thread in the last row of stitching. And I'm just going to leave a tail like that. And then I have, um, following the pattern, I have my two pieces. I'm going to fold them wrong sides together. And I'm going to match up the corners. And it is just as simple as going through each from the bottom around to the top to the bottom to the top and do not pull them too tight just kind of nice and loose but not too loose Okay, there you can see 
the pattern that is um, going. It just makes it all a nice diagonal, a little stitch. So go ahead and do your squares that way. When you get to the end, leave your tail long. Don't cut this off because you then can pick it up with um, your needle and join the next ones as you get them going. So just leave your tails nice and long and you can join your squares as you get them done. Once you have sewn all of your squares together, we need to put a border on the entire project. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I am going to use the same color that I joined all the squares with. So in this pattern, it is the light color. And I don't like starting right on a corner, so I'm going to go a few stitches before that. Just insert your hook draw through your thread, drop your thread, and I'm going to chain two. So that's going to count as my first half double crochet. And I'm going to do two rows all the way around of half double crochet. So that's one in the next stitch, loop over, draw through, draw through all three on the hook. Loop over, draw through, yep, there we go and continue that and I started near a corner so you could see what I have to do when I get to a corner. There we go. Okay this is the corner stitch. We're going to put three half double crochets in the corner. One, two, three. Now we're going down the other side and just continue a half double crochet all the way around your afghan. Okay, and by putting those extra stitches in the corner, it lays nice and flat. So when you come around to this side, we're just going to slip stitch in the top of the, the first chain two, uh, chain two again, and do a second row and finish it off. It'll just give it a nice solid border.